Hey girl, hey, will you dare to drop this food in exchange of this Barbie? Really? Yeah. Hey girl, will you dare to drop this food in exchange of this Barbie? No. No? Would you prefer to display the food? I prefer the food. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Hey, <laughs> why did you prefer the plate of food instead of the Barbie? Because I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten it in the entire day. And I would like to share this with my grandmother. Oh, do you want to share with your grandma? Mm -hmm. Do you live with your grandma? Yes. Oh, that's good. Um, did I buy the doll from you? The Barbie? Do you want to buy it? Do you really like it? Yeah, it's just that my sister is in the hospital and I would like to bring her a present. Do you want to take it to your sister? Yes. And where is your mom? She's with my sister. And your grandma? She's back home. Uh, do you think that we can go with your grandma? Yes. Where is she? She's back there. This way. Let's see. That's my grandma. Hi, honey. Where are, where are you? What's that? Good evening, ma'am. Good afternoon. My name is Alex. Nice to meet you. I just found your granddaughter and I gave her this plate of food. Yes, I'm doing a social experiment where I ask the girls if they prefer the Barbie or the plate of food. And she used the food. Uh, but she told me that her she wants to buy this Barbie for me. But you don't have any money. I'm sorry. But she told me that her sister was at the hospital and she wants to give it to her. Oh yeah, that's the truth. There's been months? But for a while now. Well, you know, I would love to give this Barbie to her so she can take it to her sister. Ah, uh, that's that's very kind of you. I just want to ask you a few questions. I don't know if you have a few time. Actually, I was closing because we're going to the hospital. We're gonna help my daughter because she's there. Yeah. Well, if you want, I'll walk you. Yeah, sure, glad to. Well, I just wanted to ask because you comment that your granddaughter has a lot of time at the hospital. Yeah, you know, ever like since more than a year now, we noticed that my daughter wasn't really eating. She didn't have a lot of energy. She wouldn't play. And um, she would fall asleep in school. She didn't use any of her materials. She would spend days sleeping and at night she wouldn't. It was just all too much. And then, you know, it got to a point where my daughter said, you know what, it's time to take her to the hospital. And it happened. And fortunately, we did it on time and we could find out that we found a good hospital and we found a good doctor who empathized with my granddaughter and he was focused on whatever was, was happening to her. Oh, so he put his own money to pay the test. He's a really good doctor. It's really nice that you got that doctor because there's not a lot like them. And did he told you something already? What's going on? Well, through all of her labato laboratories, apparently she has anemia, some parasites. But the doctor says that we should go, we should continue with this, with this labs because he thinks that it's not normal what she's, what is happening to her and also it's been inconsistent for my granddaughter. The doctor said that it was better if he would keep her in observation and that's why he kept her in the hospital. Well, you told me that she's really small, right? Five years and at that age you should feed yourself really good. Hey, and well, go eat. You told me that you were hungry. Be confident. Well, it's really hard that you're in this situation, but the good thing is that you have a really good doctor on your side. And you told me that you just closed, right? Well, we don't even have clients. You know it's been raining. Also, I have to help my daughter out. You know, I stay in the hospital and she comes to rest a little, take a shower, eat something. And she doesn't work? Yes, what we've been covering, my this my this granddaughter and me, it's her work. But since she has to be with her daughter in the hospital, 
Well, I've been helping her and we've been covering her. You know, she's, she's been doing... She's the one going at night. Also because I can't really go there. Oh, don't you tell me that. How did you lose your husband? What happened there? Yeah, he, he had cancer. He got very sick. I mean, fortunately, we could help. We could get some help with his pension and what he left. But even so, some payments we haven't received them or things like that. So I had to do, I had to sue. And it's been a coming and going really with the lawyers and everything. You know how it goes with all legal procedures. But even in this, the, my granddaughter's doctor, he helps us with this. He orientates. But it's time and money. I mean, you told me that you're struggling with that. And what are you selling there? Well, um, secondhand stuff, really. Things that were donated to us uh, by the neighbors, the people we know. They know their si our situation. Hey, and what happened with the father? Why did you say that they, she doesn't have a father? Because we haven't heard from him. Oh, but he's alive. Yes, we know he's alive, but he's never... He's not in charge, he's, he doesn't have any responsibility. I don't even think he knows that his daughter is in the hospital. Oh, well, that's really bad. That shouldn't be that way. But sometimes, sometimes things are like that though. It is what it is. And this place is yours? No, it's not, it's not for us. We, we rented, you know. They gave us a an opportunity and they give us a special price and they reduce the price and we we haven't even paid for it for like the past four months what day is your due date every 20 29 oh it's coming yes it's about yes and we're worried how we're gonna do it we don't really sell much and um we don't have the money rent the rent money yeah it's hardcore i mean it's difficult well, we try to cover his basic needs, you know, that we don't have, that we have food. That's why we, my daughter and I have always, have tried our best to carry on and do, you know, to make it through. But with my granddaughter's thing, it's just been very hard to even pay for rent. No, oh, this is difficult. And, you know, your granddaughter... I'm really proud that she chose that plate of food. I want to tell you something. Okay. I would really love to tell you something. I'm doing this social experiment. I'm telling the kids if they drop this food, I will give the Barbie. Some kids did it and they took the Barbie, but the plate of food had something really special and it's a gift that can give you a lot of Barbies. And today, I'm doing the exception. I'm giving you the Barbie because you told me that your sister is at the hospital and I'm sure that she's getting really happy. So take it to her. Keep being a really good sister and being a good person. And look, the biggest gift that was played, mm -hmm. I'm giving it to you apart. It's in this box. It's a really special box. It's really special for me because I put a gift on it and it's going to help you a lot because what I hear I unfortunately lose my daughter and I'm doing this kind of experiments because I'm looking for a really nice girl who deserves it and I think that she's really good and she's going to give the same value that my daughter will give it to it so this gift this for you there is something really special for you for your daughter for your granddaughter and your for your other granddaughter. Is is this true? Is it, are you are you joking? No, it's not a joke. I can't believe this. Uh, oh. This gift is something by heart, and you told me that you rent is due, that you need some test at the hospital, and this will help you a lot. <laughs> I'm really happy that this will be something that help you because you help a lot your daughter and this will be helpful no. to your family this is good because due 
talk and really good values, I won't take more time. Go to the hospital and it's dangerous to be with this money. So let's go.